It is day four of the eyedrop murder trial, and today the jury learned more about Lynn Hernan, the woman investigators believe was killed with those eye drops. Stephanie Rodriguez is live in Waukesha with what happened in court today. Stephanie. Well, before giving the jury a look at who Lynn Hernan was, the state set out to prove that people can die from high doses of the active ingredient in eye drops. The forensic toxicologist who did the report on Hernan testified today, saying tetrahydrazoline can be fatal. She also said Hernan had an amount 400 times higher than the highest level typically seen in eye drop use in her system. Jesse Krzyzewski, accused of killing and stealing hundreds of thousands of dollars from Hernan back in 2018, first denied involvement, but later told police she gave Hernan a bottle of water with six bottles of Visine in it to help her commit suicide. Later, some of Hernan's lifelong friends took the stand, saying she was generous, but never gave overly lavish gifts. They also shared their thoughts on Hernan's mental state. Well, yeah, I would have tried to do something. She never, never gave me the indication of suicidal, never. Did you ever get the feeling that Lynn was just giving up? No, no, I wouldn't say that. I think she just felt like she wanted to get better. Now, Poza, who you just heard from, is the mother of the only person named in Hernan's will other than Kershevsky. She testified today she never witnessed her friend give her son huge amounts of money. During opening statements earlier this week, the defense claimed Hernan willingly gave Kershevsky the money that she's accused of stealing. Now, Kershevsky is facing life in prison if she's convicted on first-degree homicide. Today, she spent all of witness testimony taking notes, but other than that, she showed no emotion. Reporting live in Waukesha, Stephanie Rodriguez, CBS 15.